Hello, I'm Matt Deneuf, and I'm a specialist Amazon Connect Solutions Architect at AWS. Today I'll be walking through some of the new features we're releasing for Amazon Connect Chat, the new long-lasting persistent chats, and the idle participant chat handling functions introduce additional ways that you can give your customers a great experience when chatting with your contact center. Let's learn more. So the new functionality can be divided into these two feature sets, and they are long-lasting persistent chat and idle participants. This part of the video is about the idle participants feature. Make sure to catch the other video if you want to know more about the other features launched with Amazon Connect Chat. Previously, Amazon Connect had no way of knowing if either participant in the chat had gone idle. And by idle, we mean a situation where a customer on chat stops replying because they've left their device or forgotten the chat. Agents would have to keep track of these chats manually and ask customers, are you still there, before disconnecting after a specific period of time. And that's not a very good use of an agent's time. With the idle participant handling features, when you start the chat, you can define custom idle and auto disconnection timers. When either participant goes idle, the Amazon Connect participant service sends out new events on the existing chat web socket. And eventually, at an auto disconnect event after the timer runs out, the agent is auto disconnected if the customer hasn't replied. This allows agents to be more efficient with their time and still gives customers the opportunities available in a disconnect flow after the disconnect. I've added links in the description if you'd like to learn more about creating and configuring disconnect flows in Amazon Connect Chat. Now let's take a look at how idle participants is implemented and in action in the console. Unlike the persistent chat feature, the idle participant configuration is called once a contact has been created. You'd call start chat contact and then you'd call this new update contact role configuration API. This API requires your instance ID, which you can grab here, and the active chat contact ID. The best way to call this API for your chat is by passing the contact ID parameter to a Lambda function in your contact flow, something like this. Alternately, you can grab the contact ID directly and call the API another way. In this example, I'll use Postman to call the API directly. Um, you can see the participant role config path here. Importantly though, the body of the request is the same whether you're calling it directly or via the SDK. And this is the configuration for the participant timers, which you can see here. We're setting all possible timers. First, you can see the idle time of the customer, which defines how long to wait before the customer is considered idle on a chat. In this case, two minutes. And here's the agent idle timer, three minutes. Finally, we're going to set the customer and agent disconnect timers, which is how long to wait after the idle timer is triggered to disconnect the agent from the chat. In this case, two minutes for customer and three minutes for agent. This means that after the sum of the idle and disconnect timers, the chat will disconnect appropriately. So let's see this in action then. Let's begin a test chat. We'll use the test chat interface. And on the left, you'll see the customer chat experience. And on the right, the agent chat. I'm going to go ahead and get the contact ID in the background. And we'll call the API before the agent is connected to the chat. Let's take the API here, insert the contact ID as a parameter, and call the API. You'll see down here that we've gotten a 200 OK, so the timers are set successfully. Let's handle this chat normally. We're running through a standard chat interaction, but let's say the customer has forgotten their chat window and they go idle. You can see that the customer idle timer has now triggered after two minutes. The WebSocket event is also published if you're using a custom CCP and you want to integrate this idle in your interface with a modal or something similar. Now, let's assume that the agent is working on another chat whilst the customer is idle and the agent is also idle. You'll see that the agent idle timer has run down now and is idle after three minutes. 
The idle event again is also fanned out on the WebSocket if you want to handle it differently. Now, if the customer replies at this point, this will reset the customer idle timer back to two minutes and the disconnect timer is also reset. You can see that here. The agent also replies and this will reset their idle and disconnect timers. Now, let's assume that the customer goes idle again. You'll see that the idle timer has triggered again after two minutes since the last customer response. Assuming that they remain idle, let's wait two more minutes now to see what happens next. So two minutes after the last customer idle event, based on the timers we've set, there is the auto disconnect and the agent now drops off the chat. Note that the agent is always disconnected so that if the customer ever returns, they have the option to return back into the contact flow um, and potentially be redirected to another agent. There's a lot more configuration that's possible, such as choosing which timers you'd like to implement or leave out. So this is just the basics of implementing this new functionality. The documentation has more details on this. So in summary then, let's talk about what we've learned today with the idle participant chat features. We looked at setting the timer config in the update participant role config API. Uh, we looked at some of those WebSocket events and we saw the agent and customer chat experience with idle participants in action. Finally then for benefits, using the idle participant features allows agents to make better use of their time by handling chats and letting Amazon Connect manage the idle chat life cycles. Importantly, there's an efficiency gain for agents by reducing AHT or average handle time overall and wait times as well as agent satisfaction scores. Thanks so much for watching today. Further resources for Amazon Connect Chat can be found in the video description.